Hey everybody, Sean with 32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to episode 12 of season 2 of The Good Place. This one is entitled Somewhere Else. It's the finale of season 2, which is crazy. I have no idea off the top of my head what it could be, except for like thinking about the title. Like, is there somewhere else they can go? I don't know because we know about the good place, the bad place, and the middle place or the mid place or whatever it's called. But um, can the judge just make some somewhere else? I don't know. I don't because I know she said she was been there since the big dawn of time or before the dawn of time. So I don't know what can be done. I really don't know. Like. What can somewhere else mean? Obviously, it means they're going to look for somewhere else if they can't get in the good place. But I, I really don't know. It's like, I'm so glad Michael got in. I loved Janet. I loved Janet. And they all... F and I feel like Eleanor did get in. She really, truly did get in because like she was told, but then everybody else fell. But then she lied about it because she wanted to go with friends. But she, I don't think that the judge would dislike that because... She stayed true to her word. Yes, she lied, but she stayed true to her word that if one of us doesn't get in, we all don't get in type thing. So I don't know how the judge is going to feel about that. Is that going to play against them? I don't know. But we're all here. So I don't know if it's going to be like a just a contained episode in this location. That'd be quite cool. But I don't know how it's going to play off and how it's going to affect like the next season, which is crazy. I'm almost on seat like next week could be season three. Yeah, I have no idea where we're going with this one. There's, that's all I can think about is what are we going to do in this finale? Because like with how unpredictable this show's been and how they've not been afraid to do like finale type things all the way through the show, I have no idea what they're going to do. Because, well, season one finale, we all know what happened there. Wow. I don't know if they can top that or match that or what. I don't know what we could do with this one. I really don't know. And I'm excited and nervous. And I'm... Oh, I would love to recap more, but I really can't think of anything else. Because my head's so focused on what the hell is going to happen in this one. So we're going to get going. Yikes. If you enjoy this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. So, Michael, you're. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I should consider in this case. So, in lag, then. I hope not. Sorry. The premise of our okay. system is that a person's score during her time on Earth is final yeah. and inarguable. Yes. But because of my accidental experiment, these four humans got better after that. They, they died. did. That they did. Over and over again, I watched as they became good thoughtful, point. It's a good point. generous, and, and caring. And and think about where they. And Tahani just proved like she doesn't. She's realized about her parents and that literally just. Well, they got better in your little pretend world. That doesn't prove anything about what they were like on Earth. No, see, yeah. I think it does prove something. Okay, I get where she's coming from as well. The system by which we judge humans is flawed. Is so fundamentally flawed and unreasonable that hundreds of millions of people have been wrongly condemned to a, an eternity of torture. I like that. That was intense. I Look love my her. my arm, y'all. Look, I got goosebumps. Well, that was good. I get it. I get where he's coming from. I that, I like that. Like, it is flawed system. He's proven that it's a flawed system. In chapter 26. Tahani, don't do this. The little voice in your head sounds like the old lady from Downton Abbey. Maggie Smith, damn right. Maggie Smith is my godmother. <gasps> anyway. Nice. Told them I ate a Cheeto and walked away. Man. Fair play to her. She stood. She realized she'll never be good enough for them. It's their problem, not hers. And I love that. Progress I have made. It's because you and I have become mates. Oh, I love That's that. Your friend. No, I know. Yeah. That's so cute. They're. F oh, I love this group. Was voted best shoulders by British Vogue four years in a row. So. I get it. You're perfect. <laughs> she does have nice shoulders. Taking the piss out of myself. I like that. It's only two years. <laughs> I love this group. I'm worried about Jason though because has he improved? I don't know. Hi Jason. I love you. 
I've been avoiding telling you. My excuse was that I needed time oh. to evaluate my complex feelings, but that was... They were really cute. They were really cute. And she was really sweet with him. I love her growth. This, this is so cool. I ever get Tell to her. To, so there it is. He's going to do it. Oh, come on. Go talk to Eleanor, please. More that my brain is grinding like a fork in a garbage disposal. Whatever. You're not really a part of this, Chidi. Oh, my God. He's rich. I love you, I too. I'm not a girl. I'm also not just a Janet anymore. I don't know what I am. I love... Go on. Go on. Tell her. Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> Hot diggity I'm so proud dog. of him. Oh no! Now the thing I said right after we kissed will always be hot diggity dog. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, ice cream. That was so cute. I love that. She's gonna put you in your own medium places, like okay. me and Claire. And while you're there, I'll places? keep every angle Zebra? I can think of to get you guys into the good place for real. Oh no, that's <clears throat> the thing about medium places. It has to be tailored to what's medium for the individual. So. You can't separate them. Could be a month. Could be a million years. So, between a month and a million years. Yeah, some, yeah, give or take. Somewhere in there. Come no. on, guys, I know this isn't perfect. You can't separate them, no! They've literally just freaking kissed. I'll say it. No. Both those options suck. Okay, I'm sorry if that's blonde, Your Honor, but it's true. Also, Chidi just laid one on me, so I'm kind of dizzy. You two kissed? Yeah, that's right. Diggity dog. Oh, that's so cute. I love them all. Second, I still believe that the only reason that you improved in Michael's fake neighborhood is because you thought there was a reward at the end of the rainbow. Isn't that what everybody at Earth thinks? They're like religious and stuff like that. You think there's an afterlife? A push in the right direction. Oh, no. No, what? no. Absolutely not. What? It's a little crazy. A little bit crazy. It's Looney Tunes. It's only four people. And it's clearly the best way to see if bad people can what? become good without knowing anything about what's waiting for them in the afterlife. Oh, oh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> but there have to be strict rules. Otherwise, the results will be tainted. What is it? Why are you like this? Excuse me, why am I like this? You don't know me, dude. You don't know what I'm like. Look what you made me do, jag off. Uh-oh. That was Michael, because I saw the white hair. Holy crap. No fucking way have we gone back to the point of their deaths. No way. I was outside the supermarket arguing with that little environmental twi- No way, have they re been reset? I mean, does that mean all their character development's gone? No way! I dropped the margarita mix, and when I went to pick it up, and then someone pushed me out of the way, and the carts got, like, demolished by a truck. They don't care that she almost died. Oh my god. Whoa, that's crazy. So is the margarita mix, like, gone? I had an- That's all experience. they care about. This is the push in the right direction. Oh my god, is this going to be the next season? No way. Is that all their character development gone? Have they got to find each other again? What the hell? Syracuse, New York. She's like realising they don't care. Two weeks before. Two weeks. I can't believe we all almost died. I know. Like... Honestly, mine was like a... They belittled what she just went through. That is the push she needed. I think I might be a monster. I'm rude, I'm selfish. I cyber bullied Ryan Lochte until he quit Instagram. But something happened to me today, and from now on, I'm gonna try to become a better, nice. kinder, more generous Fair play. person. But what the hell? That means all her character development's just gone. What the hell? Quit. Quit. Did you get laid last night? I didn't. Tried. Hard. This chick that I met after I followed her into a yoga class, but she wasn't into it. Maced me, right in the eyes. Fair play to her. What was I saying? Scumbag. Oh yeah. Hey. Listen, dude. What Wait. you're doing here is wrong. Selling fake medicine to people, tricking them, is wrong. That one little experience. That's all people need to change their opinions and views of everything. By the way, technically that is not sexual harassment because she doesn't work here anymore. You're wearing a wire. Yeah. Company's being investigated for fraud, so I'm helping the feds bring everyone down. Good timing on your part. 
Thank you. No, thank you for wearing open-toed shoes today. Wow. Dude, oh, Cree! I'm becoming a better person. You should too. I like that. She needed that one moment. Hey, remember me? Ah, don't hurt me. My bones are brittle. I have a Apologize. I'm not gonna hurt you, ma'am. I came to apologize. There, you did it. I apologized. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, ass face. <sighs> nope, you're right. Oh, she's gonna get to swear though, I just I realized. For being mean to you, like a thousand times. I like that one experience. Are we gonna see everybody else's experiences? I hope so. Uh, what's happening? I'm scared. Hey, I'm on kind of like a self-improvement kick. Do you think you could help me out? Teach me to get all horny for the environment or whatever? That's hey, so cute to her she's for her. I'm expecting a certain person. Please tell me. Okay, Janet. Okay, they're what? They're going over. Oh, oh God, they got to sit here. Nice. Okay. Eleanor, I like that one experience. This is so cool. Is this going to be how she meets Chidi again? She's got to meet him again. But fair play to her. One experience. Oh god, is she gonna fall in love with that guy? Or fall for that bait and that she'll meet Chidi then? I'm actually trying to eat vegetarian. Ew! Why? Is it because you feel bad for all the little animals with their cute little faces? Because <laughs> Walk away from them, you're better than them already. I love her. That's exactly why, actually. <laughs> also, it's the easiest way to lower your carbon footprint, not eating meat. What? I love you. Oh, I do. I mean, I went through a really rough time last year with the whole dress bitch thing and people selling t-shirts with my face on them, but... Tell, yeah, me. tell her, tell her, tell her. I tore your dress. And then I lied about it. And then Brittany and I were the ones who made and sold the t-shirts. But we did not keep the money. Yes, we did. We kept all the money. That took a lot of courage for you to admit that. Mm -hmm. And I admire your honesty. Good. But well, fucking hate you. <laughs> Lee, she told her. Cool. Mm. Okay. Steamed vegetable medley. Hey, fair, I'm glad for her to tell the truth. Can you throw these plants in the trash? Oh, no. Is that just set her back? Please tell me it hasn't set her back. Please. And now she's going to get low about it. Oh, no. She needs cheating. Chick is claiming she has whiplash. She wasn't in the car when I hit it. This is on you. You should have pretended like you didn't see it and walked away like <laughs> everyone else oh. does. I know. <laughs> oh, that fuck you. Out for you. Fuck you. They need each other. They need to be pushed towards each other. I know we don't pay a lot, but this is a job, and we need to know we can count on you. We're meeting tonight to discuss long-term strategy for the organization. Yeah, I really yeah, think yeah, it would yeah, be... Yeah. Dude, you need to get dressed. I got tickets to Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift reggae cover band. They're terrible. It's going to no. be amazing. <laughs> no. Eleanor. Yeah, that sounds like more fun. I'm going to do that. Eleanor. No! I've been nothing but good for like six months, and all I have to show for it is this crummy apartment, a lawsuit, a loose caboose, and an overdrawn bank account. Being good is for suckers. What do you even get out of it? A feeling of fulfillment in your soul. Gross. That's the grossest sentence I've oh, ever heard. Oh, fuck's sake. They need each other. So tell me about the new business. We sell classes at a for-profit university, and the classes train people how to sell supplements. That sounds kind of dicey. Oh, it's super dicey. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that's definitely not true, but I also don't care. Which one's my desk? No, they need each other. He needs, they need to push him. <laughs> I'm only giving that guy What's he going to do? Let me stick my head out the moon. Yeah. Dude, my boyfriend just texted. His wife's out of town, so I'm going to head over there. I knew there was going to be a twist that she had a boyfriend. Had to be something more. She needs Chidi. He knows that's what they need. Last year on my birthday, I almost died. Oh, it's been a year and now. Okay. Then I did a bunch of stuff that was good, but weird. Uh, uh, she was doing it and she was doing well, but she they. Sounds like you had a pretty crazy year. Hmm. Want to talk about it? Ted Danson working at a bar with. Oh my God! It's Cheers. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that is the plot of the movie Kangaroo. Sorry, is Ted Danson behind a bar again? 
Oh, sorry. That's got me emotionable. What's that? No one cares. I mean, some people care a little bit. With the towel over his shoulder, he's gone full on Sam. Oh, my God. Sorry, I've got me emotional. It's like second nature to him doing that. And it felt it okay, but not as good as I thought it would. Ah, see, now you're talking about moral dessert. Exactly. Wait, I am? What? Moral dessert <laughs> is the concept that if you act with virtue, oh, I'm you sorry, that's got me emotional. I did a bunch of good stuff. I didn't get Jack. He's even got the Chet shirt. Out. Oh my God. Sorry, I got to focus on the episode. That you didn't dig yourself such a deep hole over the first 34 years of your life that the six months you spent being good weren't enough to get you out of that hole. Good point. Good point. Well, you know, I recently got sort of into ethics and moral philosophy damn right you did you know i had a friend that said whenever she was doing something bad she'd hear this, this little voice in her head distant little voice saying oh come on and then when she started doing good things yeah away. oh your friend sounds like she's one pickle short of a pickle party <laughs> she was a little rough around the edges but See, I think that little voice was her conscience trying to guide her in the right direction. He, I think he should be all their consciences. What do I owe you? The real question, Eleanor, is what do we owe to each other? Oh, I love that. I love that. He owes so much to her. Oh, that's so cute. God, it's in him behind the bar got me emotional. Come on. Have they looked at Chidi and Tahani's yet? Come on, that good reminder. Memories on Facebook, they are handy sometimes. What do we owe to each other? That is the question oh. Tim Scanlon asked decades ago. Ugh, no thanks. We all have a voice in our head. That voice doesn't tell us what to do or not do, but it does warn us when we do things that don't Because he said, what good. do we owe each other? And that got her to do, th oh. And she's watching this, oh. I may have a different definition of so reasonable. So why do it then? Why choose? And she's been engrossed with it. She needed him. She needs him. They need each other. I argue that we choose to be good because of our bonds with other people. And yes, exactly. They Their bonds with each other made them better. Is the realization that we are not in this alone. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. I'm going somewhere else. She's gonna go find Chidi. No freaking way. Is she flying to find him? Hi. G'day. Where you headed? St. John's University. No worries. She wants. She. Oh, she's going to meet Chidi. Do you want to talk to God? What? No. Get away from me, freak. Oh, she, she needs him. Oh, this is beautiful. I feel like something's gonna happen, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Office hours are on Tuesday. Oh, I, I'm not a student. Are you Chidi Anna Kendrick? <laughs> Anna Gonier, and from the Kissack Foundation lecture series on the practical applications of ethical theory. Yes. Great. Hi, my name is Eleanor Shellstrop. Can we talk? That's what he wanted. He knew they needed each other. Here we go. Oh, I want to know what happened. With Tahani and Jason, though, I'm assuming we'll find out. Oh, oh my God, they're on Earth. And sorry, I try not to. Get... I'm trying not to get emotional. Then Ted dancing behind a bar. Check shirt. You could just the way he flung that towel over there. It it was you could just tell it was like natural to him. God, I really want to watch Cheers. I haven't watched Cheers in years, but I used to love it. I loved it. It was always on. My mum loved it. Oh, my God. That actually made me tear up seeing him there. Oh, it was lovely. And like I thought immediately that um, when he said, what do we owe each other? I thought he was saying because he, he helped her a bit, obviously, and obviously with the torture, but that she helped him a lot. I thought that's what they meant, but then it's, he said it because of this. Oh, that was such a good push. They need each other. They all need each other. I hope they're checking on to Hannes as well. 
or maybe they know the order because like they need Eleanor to be working with um Chidi, get him getting better, and then Eleanor can help Tahani because Tahani said she got better because of Eleanor, didn't she? Because they're mates. So she needs Ele they need Eleanor to get a bit better first. And they need to find Tahani and oh my god, what is she going through with her parents and her sister? And what about Jason? Like, who's to say that Jason isn't going to pass before they find him again? Like, they got, they need each other. It was them being friends that made them better. And I love that speech, what we saw of it from Chidi. And he was doing so well with it. I thought it was a lovely, what we saw of it, the lovely speech. And I love how Janet is just so engrossed in Jason's one. She's just not doing anything. But Jason, I love that. Oh my God, that they're back on Earth. That's insane. But God, that was an emotional one. They need each other, and it was nice seeing her being good because of that one experience. I, I think it was it was him. I swear, I saw the white hair. I swear, I saw the white hair. Is that such a gorgeous shade of white? It's it was recognizable. I mean, skin colour kind of matched as well. But um, that one moment changed her, but then because of how she'd been all her life, not having that guiding person there with her, she'd revert back to her old ways because that's how she'd always been. That's what she was grew up. It takes a lot, and a lot. some people, some people can do it, like just that one experience, they've changed their life. Some people need the guiding person or book or something to keep reminding them to be good, to go on the right path. This is what you're meant to do with your life. And I like that. Was I like that? It's not straight away she's being good again. That she reverted back because it's not. E it was not easy. And then it showed that she needs CD. And he. Ki oh, I was so proud of him. Apologies for the fact that I did scream. I did scream. <laughs> so apologies. My microphone probably didn't pick it up because I know when sometimes I, when I get high pitch, my microphone cuts out. But um, I was so proud of him. That was so cute. And the fact that Eleanor and Michael both said hot diggity dog was so cute. So that phrase is making me think of my daughter because she likes Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and they sing hot, the hot dog song at the end. But um, oh, that was great. And Janet telling she um she did. Jason she loved him as well. Oh that was such a beautiful episode. That was beautiful on so many levels. Like I had no idea where they were gonna go on from there. Like I, I had a feeling it was somewhere else. But they couldn't separate him in different middle places. I'm glad Eleanor said something because they can't separate them again. You can't. Because that would be a bad show having them all in for the whole season in different places alone in different places like how is that going to work as a show i'm glad she said something maybe for one episode then they get put back together maybe one or two but for any longer it just wouldn't work but oh i like that oh i just i can't wait for next week so i can see how they get maybe if they don't all come back together next week and we just have Tahani finding Jason or them finding Tahani or one person getting added back in and then the next episode somebody else gets added back in. But then again, I don't know with the show. Like that could take half the season or all the season for them to get all get back together. Or it could just all happen next episode. I have no idea because like first episode of season two, they reset and I was it's just I have no idea. And I love that. Like it's just the most unpredictable show. Like, I think I've got theories. And then they pull the rug out from underneath you and it's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm so glad I was like, right, that they need each other. They do need each other to get back. They need that. They all need that guiding person, which is each other, to get better and carry on and get better and keep reminding themselves, you should be better and good. And with Tani, she doesn't have to listen to her parents. She's got to be reminded of that. She has to be. It's her parents' fault. It's not her. She's not the one that's not good enough. She's more than good enough. Her parents and her sister. 
I like her sister's the way she is, maybe because of her person, partly because of her personality, but because of her parents as well. So it's not to ha I, Tahani. Oh, I'm worried for Tahani. I'm worried for Jason's life, to be honest, because of like how he was. But I'm worried for Tahani and what she's going through with her parents. Jeez, like it's like a complete progress reset, but it's also not because you've got Michael and Janet there might be able to nudge them in the right direction. So. It's not a reset, but it is. It's weird. It's a very weird one. Next episode's going to be very strange. It's going to be very strange. But all I've got in my head right now is Ted dancing behind a bar. That's all I need to see. <laughs> oh, that got me emotional seeing him that. Oh, oh, that was a good episode. That was a good, good episode. I loved it. And I would love to know what you guys thought. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.